Lizzie McNiven and this is GW News. Masters week is here and the first bit of noteworthy news was the weather. Just two hours into the practice rounds the gates were closed. But there is good news though with the rest of the week expected to be perfect golfing weather. And with no Tiger Woods in the field the tournament is as open as it has been in years. Adam Scott the world number two is aiming to become the first player since Woods in 2002 to win back to back green jackets. Returning to Augusta to defend the Masters is uh, certainly something I've been looking forward to for a long time. However, it comes around a bit too quickly. I've enjoyed walking around as the Masters champion for the last year and carrying the green jacket with me, but it's been something I've looked forward to for the first four months of this year. It's uh, a special place and obviously even more special after winning last year and so much to look forward to here this week. As reigning Masters champion, Scott also decides the menu for tonight's annual champion's dinner. And the Australian has decided to serve Morton Bay bugs. Although they're not as gruesome as it sounds, they're actually flat-headed lobsters. Scott's menu will be sampled by 32 former winners, with Tiger the only doubtful attendee. Scott is also aiming to knock Woods off his spot as the world's top-ranked player, needing to finish in at least a two-way tie for third. Although it's not just Scott who can become the world number one this week. Henrik Stenson could become the first Swedish player to top the rankings if he places in a two-way tie for second or better, whilst Jason Day could also do it with his first ever major win. Well, that's all for today. Join us tomorrow as we continue to build up to the Masters. As ever, keep in touch via Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and don't forget to use the hashtag GWTV. Thanks for watching.